athleticism on display tonight. You Grant, you'd know a little something about athleticism. Well, look, the bottom line is if you have the athleticism in today's game where speed and pace is so important and you've taken the physicality out of the game, I believe it gives you an advantage on both ends of the floor. If you're an offensive player who's skilled with the athleticism, you have a chance to be dominant. And then also defensively. You can be a rim protector, on-ball defender. So the athletic component to it is certainly an ingredient for success in today's game. So here's the Clippers starting group. Kawhi Leonard out there with Serge Ibaka. Then there's Reggie Jackson. Then it's Justice Winslow. And it's George in at the two. First free throw is good. Well, a lot of times we associate scoring with the star players. For Paul George, important to be a complete player. And his defense, it sets him apart. Gets one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Smitty, how about Paul George? Seems like his game really starts at the defensive end. Well, Brian, he's not caught up on his stats. He's looking to compete, guard the other team's best player, and he knows his offense is just as potent. Here he goes. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Jalen Brown picks one up. Good luck containing Paul George on the drive. He's one of the more fluid wings in the league. And he makes a first. The all-around game Paul George possesses is so special. His versatility is what makes him so valuable. George hits them both. And here's Smart. And we're about a minute into the first. Outside Richardson. Clock at six. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul. Outside Richardson. Shot clock at five. Ooh, nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. That's a beautiful move by Josh Richardson. And the defense, you got to be better than this. Can't allow a blow by. Ibaka with a screen on Tatum. Here's Leonard. Rebound Boston. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. Pass to Horford. Tatum against Leonard. Stolen by Jackson. Leonard outside. And about two minutes into the first quarter here. No good on the shot. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Smart outside. Now Richardson takes a 13-footer. Perfect night so far. Two for two. I like that Josh Richardson is more comfortable in this offense. Just taking what the defense allows. Jackson, the pass to Ibaka. Leonard outside. George outside. Pass to Leonard. Five to shoot. Knocked away. It's Brown on the wing. Smart outside. Oh, 
Jackson with it. Leonard, left side. George for three. Drains the triple. George has got six points. He doesn't need much time to get his shot off. Paul George is a dependable catch-and-shoot option. Pass to Tatum from outside the arc. The shot, no good. And the Clippers will go the other way with it. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Here's Leonard. Now here's George. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Power move from PG-13. He's added a lot of muscle to his frame over the years, putting it to good use right there. No good on the free throw. drops he ties it up Boston has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter Horford outside back to smart it's Brown on the wing pass to smart six to shoot and he was fouled in the act of shooting opportunity for a three-point play here Impressive. I mean, challenging at the rim against length. You just have to love the aggressiveness. And let's forget the height disadvantage. He brings the effort and he brings the energy. One shot. And the Clippers with the ball. It's a three-point game. Tatum against Leonard. Tatum pulls it in. The Celtics have gone four of six in the first quarter. Now here's Smart. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Here's Winslow. Ooh, rejected by Horford. The great positioning, the 7-1 wingspan. That combination makes Horford a dangerous shot blocker. And here's Brown for three. Pure from three-point range. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Jackson, the pass to Ibaka. Pass to George. Driving to the basket. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my goodness. That is Cocked it back and fired it home. Oh, oh, indeed. Letting it all hang out when George takes flight. Just enjoy the show. Now here's Smart. Here's Brown. There's Tatum with the three. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Tatum's got his second basket on the night. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. And here's Jackson. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Pass to George. Just five to shoot. Good D by Richardson. The Celtics have gone six of nine and finding their rhythm now. Out left to the wing. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. The question is, do you leave him in? Obviously, you don't want him to pick up a third foul this early. Richardson, the pass to Brown. Going inside, and Brown with the stuff! 
Hey, when in doubt, run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. And the jam by Ibaka. Excellent pass, PG-13. Keeping his eyes up, using his vision. Smart finds Tatum. Back to Smart. Five on the clock. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with his offense. Leonard outside. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Now smart. So both teams changing it up here. Zubats with it. Out to the right wing. Driving inside. Man. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Jalen Brown picks one up. Man, good whistle there. Drops a first. That one misses. The Celtics with the lead. And he lobs it up to the rim. to Zubats. George, a screen on Horford. Beverly outside. Shot clock at six. Here's Mann. Shoots over Brown. And again, no good by the Clippers. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. And that'll be Boston's ball as it goes out of bounds. Celtics able to keep possession here. Almost had the steal. You have to love the pressure defense. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. The Clippers making a switch here. Canards checked in. Richardson against Canard. Pass to Neesmith. To the left wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Richardson for three. It's not going to go for him. And the Clippers will come the other way. Kennard outside. Out to Beverly. Launches a three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Tatum's got four rebounds in the game. You know, Grant, Pat Beverly said he's trying to be the best defender on the planet. And the way he competes, I believe him. I believe it, too. I mean, this young man from Chicago spent five years fighting and scrapping overseas. Defense became his meal ticket. But even in the NBA, he's never lost that chip on his shoulder. And here are the Clippers now. After the basket by Boston. Here's Neesmith. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pass to Tatum. Up again. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Celtics lead by 10. No question who's in control of the board so far. Here's Batum. Here's Mann. 
I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. Boston's gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Pass to Neesmith. Out of bounds, Out of bounds. it'll be the Clippers ball. And the Clippers have possession, trailing by 10. Here's Mann. Good D by Cantor. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. Pass to Neesmith. Takes the three. Offensive rebound. And Cantor with the slam. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Now here's Beverly. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Beverly showing he can make things happen off the bounce. Canter up top. The rebound by Mann. Los Angeles has gone only one of four from three-point land. Pass to Beverly. And here's Zubats. Here's Mann. That shot off. And at a certain point, you just have to look to someone else to score for you. Now Williams. Here's Langford. Let's go with a three. Batum pulls it in. The Clippers shooting has not been great early. Just 27%. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Pritchard. Down low. Here's Canner. That went a little long. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Celtics out in front. They're up by 10. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after the break. And recently, we spoke with Patrick Beverly about his throwback style. Old school basketball. You know, and it's fun and it's light. Fans deserve it on both sides. Uh, you know, it's good old fashioned basketball. You, you know, it's all a part of the game. We're both trying to win. And uh, that's what people want to see hard nosed, edgy basketball. Man, pound for pound, Beverly may be the most physical player in the league. And he also gets in your head. It's a combination that allows him to get stops against guys as big as Kevin Durant. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. All right, guys, what do you think about the Celtics here in this one? Just excellent first quarter defense. They've been really getting after it. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They've just been the better team so far. They've got Chris Dunn, Ennis Canner out there with Neesmith, and it's Williams in at the four-man spot. That's the Boston Five. On defense, the Clippers. It's a 10-point game. Back to Dunn. Pass to Neesmith. Six on the shot clock. Here's Lankford. Grant, you led the league in all-star voting as a rookie. 
Last year, Luka Doncic did it as a second-year player. How rare is it for a player like that, that early in his career, to make such an immediate impact? Without a doubt, B.A., it is incredibly rare for a player to come in and have that kind of impact, not just in terms of their production on the floor leading uh, their team, but also the popularity and really connecting and resonating with fans all over the world. Certainly, Doncic has done that, and he's a remarkable player. The sky is the limit for him, and I know they're very excited in Dallas uh, about what he has in front of him. Now here's Rondo. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Rondo from outside? How about that? Second quarter here, just over a minute and a half played. Pass to Langford. Here's Neesmith. To the wing on the left. Dunn attacking. Canter inside. Zubots there. And there's a three second violation. Los Angeles has gone one of three from three point land here in the second quarter. It's Winslow on the wing. Morris, right side. 4-3. Boston with a rebound. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Here's Langford, defended by Jackson. And it's Langford missing. For Los Angeles, they've gotten only one of four shots to go in. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Last season, it seemed a weight was lifted for the Celtics. Coming off of a disappointing 2018-2019 campaign, Jason Tatum said maybe they believed their own hype too much. But they did bounce back, and he said the bonding experience of playing for the U.S. national team with three Boston teammates helped foster that chemistry. Guys? All great points, Allie. Thank you. Now, here's Williams. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Pass to Rondo. Now here's Winslow. Gets the three ball to go. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. For Boston, they've gone 0 for 4 in the second quarter. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Challenging at the rim, that's where Dunn's most dangerous because he can use those hops. Time called time here. Time the Clippers decide to talk it over. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. The Clippers making a switch here. George is checked in. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Got a piece of it. Now here's Dunn. And it's going to be on Rajon Rondo. That's his first foul of the game.
to the left side wing. Don outside. Just five on the clock. He shoots a three. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. An area where Dunn continues to work, improving his range, so the defense has to respect him out there. Pass to George. And here's Rondo. And there's the lob. And it's slammed in by Zubats. Boy, Rondo's a handful in pick and roll sets. Always finds the right angle. Pass to Kenner. Here's Neesmith. Don outside. Here's the three. Doesn't go for him. The Clippers go the other way with it. Here's Rondo. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. What marvelous handles by Rondo. Really pulling the carpet out from the defense. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Well, Grant, the game's tempo seems to increase each year. You think there's a point at which it'll snap back to the other direction? You know, B.A., that's a great point. I mean, I think back to the 90s when I played, and the game was at a snail's pace. It was a grinded-out defensive battle, and slowly over the years, the tempo has picked up. As you said, each and every year, it's increased. But I do think at some point, it, the pendulum will swing back, and we'll get back to a little bit more uh, of, you know, a little bit less pace in terms of this, how the game is played. I don't think we're there yet, but we're getting close. Uh, the game constantly evolves in some form or fashion, and I believe that we'll kind of get back to maybe a little bit more of a slower pace at some point in the future. Yeah, the kind of game we see in the playoffs. Exactly. Both teams deciding to change it up. Pass to Williams. And here's Richardson. There's the three. And the three-pointer goes. Richardson's gotten his third basket of the night. Nice shot by Josh Richardson. He gives you another guy that can extend the defense. Count that bucket. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. For Boston, they've gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Pass to Williams. Brown with it. The three ball. Paul George pulls down the board. Here's Leonard. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Kawhi Leonard, the 2019 Finals MVP. He clearly had the doubters and critics on his mind as he celebrated, as we heard, from the inscription he had inside his title ring. Free throw drops for Leonard. Smitty, you talk about Kawhi's critics. You know, after he left the Spurs, Coach Greg Popovich said he hadn't been much of a leader there. How about his leadership now? Well, B.A., not a rah-rah guy or a towel waver. He leads by example. The way he works, competes at both ends, and wins. So to me, that answers the question of leadership. And he makes both free throws. 
money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. Smart passes to Horford. Outside Tatum. Jacks up a three. The Clippers grab the miss. Jackson outside. He buries it from three. And there's that high arching bomb from Reggie. Way downtown this time. You see the development of his range. And here's Brown for three. Austin no good that time either. Los Angeles has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Outside Winslow. Pass to Leonard. Over Tatum. And there's another one for the Clippers. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Smart passes to Horford. Outside, Brown. The three is up. Knocks down the triple. Brown's got eight points. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. George outside. With the drive. And the jam by George. And with those long strides, it takes Paul George no time to get to the rim. Smart passes to Horford. Outside Tatum. Now here's Brown. Smart outside. Good. And Brown gets the assist. He has six. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. Here's Leonard. Jackson right side. George outside. Five on the clock. And the foul called on Paul George. That's his first foul. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. The Clippers making a switch here. Smart outside. Pass to Brown. Screen by Horford. It's deflected. Great defense by Serge. A tremendous athlete. Blessed with insane length and leaping ability. This has been a close game in a lot of ways. But they do have an edge on the boards. Now here's Leonard. He has six. He expects to make every one of those. And we expect him to make them too. Jackson against Smart. He's off on the layup. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. He didn't have his feet planted. For Los Angeles, they've gotten 8 of 14 shots to drop so far in the second. Pass to Jackson. Leonard outside. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. The power, the length, the ability to finish. Leonard dominant in that painted area. Smart outside. Now Tatum. Back to Smart. This one for three. And the Celtics another three. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. The Clippers trail. Jackson, the pass to Ibaka. And the foul on Serge Ibaka. That'll be a second foul of the game. All this means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. Smart outside. Pass to Tatum. That's tipped. And there's the call on Reggie Jackson. That's his first foul. It's Brown on the wing. And here's Horford. Let's the three fly. The rebound by Mann. Inside. Here's Leonard. And the dunk by Leonard. Common occurrence for Leonard. Once he makes his way to the rim, Kawhi levels up. It's Brown on the wing. Outside Tatum. Back to Smart. Outside Richardson. Pass to Tatum. Clock at six. That three's off the mark. 
Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter, but hasn't made one since. A minute 31 left to play in the first half of basketball. Jackson against Tatum. The Celtics with the lead. Smart outside. Now Brown. Tatum with room to shoot. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Brown's got three assists now in this one. Los Angeles has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Jackson with it. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Smart passes to Horford. Ooh, great D that time from Ibaka. 35 seconds left in the second period. Here's Jackson. Up top, George. Up and over Richardson. Tatum pulls it in. Tatum's got his fifth rebound in this one. Now here's Brown. And so we've reached the end of the first half of play. It's the Celtics up six. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Boston was looking great right away. They led by as many as 12 points, fueled by tough defense and great offense. They had a double-digit lead at the end of the first quarter. The second quarter wasn't as kind to them, but they still fought through some mistakes to have a six-point cushion at the half. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, one place they had the edge was on the offensive boards. They converted those extra possessions into points. Nothing is more demoralizing to a defense than forcing a miss and then giving up a second attempt. The offensive glass is going to pay big dividends for them. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Clippers? Well, they could be ahead in this game if they were taking care of the boards. More possession means more scoring opportunity. A few rebounds either way could decide the outcome of the game. Ultimately, this game will come down to who wants it more. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Paul George with a strong contribution so far in this one. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. On the floor for the Clippers. They've got Serge Ibaka, Kawhi Leonard out there with Justice Winslow. Then there's Paul George, and it's Jackson in at the one. Well, the Celtics shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Smart outside. Pass to Tatum for three, and he scores it. Now five of nine from the field. He's been a piece of the puzzle tonight. But it's a team effort. Everyone's contributing to this lead. Jackson finds George. And he drives in. And the jam by George. Slippery play by Paul George to get inside. He ends up right where he wanted to be for the shot. Back to Smart. Leonard against Tatum. Over Leonard. Tatum can't hit. The Clippers shooting about 
And what's really interesting is that Tatum really took a big leap forward last year, and the statistics back it up. His scoring, rebounding, blocks, steals, everything. He improved in almost every measurable category. Pass to Horford. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. They'll pin that one on Serge Ibaka. And what's amazing about the increase in Tatum's production, he did it on a team filled with other stars who were producing as well. That is so true. I mean, these were not hollow numbers. And that's when you know you're playing very well, when you can dominate while working within the flow of the game. He misses the free throw. And something not many folks know about you, Grant, you're a terrific piano player. Oh, B.A., terrific? Oh, you're very kind in that. But yes, I can play the piano. I took piano lessons uh, growing up as a child. I hated them. My mother made me take them. Uh, I did quit once I got into high school. Uh, and now, later on in life, I love to play the music. I can't walk by a piano without sitting down and playing. And I'm wishing that I had stuck with it and I didn't quit back when I was 13 years old. Uh, but it's one of my great passions and hobbies and something I enjoy doing very much. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Horford. Here's Leonard. He's got 12. No good on the quick three. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Pass to Tatum. The ball's knocked loose. Shoots over Ibaka. No good. A bit long that time. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. Leonard against Tatum. Rebounded by the Celtics. Tatum's got six rebounds now in the game. Smart passes to Horford. Here's Brown. He shoots it. Hey, shooting the ball well. He's five for nine in the game. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Smart against Jackson. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. Oh, and a dunk by Brown. Wow. That type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big-time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. Wow, it's been quite a game for Jalen Brown. Good decision to regather. Talk it over. Your main concern now is how to slow this guy down on the offensive end. Now here's Winslow. Jackson outside. Connects from downtown. You know, a little inconsistent from deep when he first entered the league. Jackson now an emerging three-point threat. Pass to Tatum.
Smart outside. Six to shoot. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. Leonard against Tatum. Leonard can't get it to go. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Woo! He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Pass to Jackson. George outside. Leonard with the ball. Over Tatum. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist by George. Leonard's got 14. You know, there's a rhythm to Leonard's game, but also an awareness. Just takes what the defense allows. Right side, Tatum. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Leonard's got his sixth rebound on the night. Ooh, rejected by Horford. Smart passes to Horford. Back to Smart. Outside, Brown. Buries it from three. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused, and they've executed. Now here's Jackson. He has six. Smart with the defensive effort. You like that he's still attacking, but the results tonight just haven't been there. Up top, Horford. Outside, Brown. And here's Jackson. Pass to Ibaka. Leonard outside. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Kawhi Leonard, a two-time defensive player of the year, has all the tools, and we know he's dedicated on that end. Does an excellent job of scouting out his opponents and taking away their first and Take second options. And you look at teams, they try to go away from Kawhi when he's on that end. That one misses. Smitty, you get a sense. A lot of players don't like playing against Kawhi Leonard. Because the question, B.A., is why. He is stifling. He denies touches, swallows up your airspace, and despite his aggressiveness, he's rarely baited into fouls. And the second free throw is good. Kawhi was drafted 15th overall in 2011. If they had a redraft, I wonder what number he would go down. Brown can't hit. The Clippers have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. George against Horford. Pass to Ibaka. And here's Leonard. Four on the clock. And again, no good by the Clippers. Boston has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Good contest. Can't let him have open shots from mid-range. Up top, Jackson. Defended by Smart. And the jam by Ibaka. I'll tell you, for a veteran, Ibaka still gets sky high on these alley-oops. Smart finds Tatum. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Tatum's got five points in the quarter. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times.
Beverly, he's checked in for Jackson. The wheels have come off a little bit leading up to this timeout. He is taking some low percentage shots, and it's killing the floor of their offense. More motion, more ball movement. That should lead to better looks for him and for the entire team. Pass to Ibaka. Now here's George. Outside Winslow. And there's the drive. Count that one. Winslow's got five now. Obstacle in his way. Winslow undeterred. Finishes through contact. Oh, there's the alley. And finished off by Tatum. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Now here's Leonard. He's got 15. Smart finds Brown. Now Richardson. Smart outside. Let's a floater go. Denied by Leonard. Yeah, that shot gets Jack. Great anticipation by the claw. Off the left rim and out. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Outside Richardson. Pass to Tatum. Eight makes out of 15 shots. He's got it going. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Here's Beverly. Leonard outside. Looking to get back on track. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. I'll tell you what, when Kawhi knifes his way to the rim, it's next level. Both teams will make substitutions. Here's Pritchard. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to Tatum. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. And it's going to be on if it's a Zubats. First one falls. He 
He's perfect from the line this time. So it's the Clippers now. Down by 12. Pass to Zubac. There's Jackson with the three. And it's Cantor with a rebound. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. 13 feet out, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Cantor's got his third basket on the night right there. And just using the size advantage he has, I mean, he can easily see over the defense. And let's also add, he has touch from there. That's a solid shot for him. Now here's Jackson. Six points for him. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Tatum. And there's the foul. It's on Ivica Zubac. That'll be a second foul of the game. Pass to Pritchard. Let's it go from deep. Sends it home from three-point land. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. Now here's Zubac. Will it go? Hits a three-pointer. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Here's Williams. It's a 14-point game. Here's Pritchard. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Almost converts despite the contact. First one falls for him. It's both from the stripe. Yeah, they've really made a concerted effort to get to the line here in the second half. Pass to Zubac. Here's man. Zubac, screen. Jackson outside. Here's the teardrop. And it's Canner with a rebound. Canner's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Here's Langford. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to Pritchard. Just five to shoot. Here's Langford from deep three-point range. Second chance shot. And it's Canner laying it in. Canner's got four points in the quarter. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. Now Jackson. There's the drive. Out to Beverly. Launches it. Rebounded by the Celtics. Shot and game clock separated by five. Pass to Williams. Here's Canner. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And it's going to be on if it's a Zubac. First free throw is good.
He makes one or two that time. Jackson with it. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. It's incredible. And I'll tell you what, it's a joy to watch. There's more to his game than threes and dunks. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. Celtics out in front, up 19. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. So it's Boston now. We've got Neesmith, and it's Langford in at the two. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And the Celtics lead by 21. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Here's Rondo. Over to the left wing. Puts up a three. The rebound by Neesmith. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Here's Mann. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Uses the glass to finish the layup. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Pass to Langford. There's the triple. The shot off that time. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Here's Mann from the arc. Rebound Boston. Neesmith's got four rebounds now. And just about a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. On target from range. And he's not taking it easy on them at all. I mean, we all know he's going to keep pouring it on. I mean, defensively, if you have any hope of coming back in this game, you can't afford to give him those looks. Boston has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Pass to Pritchard. Here's Langford. I'll tell you what, he's been off target all night, and his teammates have had to rally. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone by. Counted from distance. Defensive mix up there. He's the last guy you want to leave open. Now a timeout called by Boston. Celtics making a switch here. Dunn's checked in. Oh, 
Right wing. Outside, Williams. Austin again missing. For Los Angeles, they've gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Outside, Rondo. Who poked away. We're in the final quarter play here. Three minutes in. Austin again missing. Los Angeles has gotten one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. And the Clippers hit again from deep. Nice find by Luke. Shows good vision in both half court and in transition. Pass to Nee Smith. And here is Williams. Shot clock at six. To the middle. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. And the Celtics lead by 18. Outside, Rondo. Pass to Kennard. Beyond the arc. And it's Canner with a rebound. Canner's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. Here's Neesmith. Outside, Williams. Here's Canner. Done with it. He puts up a three. Sinks the tray. Every time he sees the ball go through the bottom of the net, Chris Dunn gains more confidence with his shot. The Clippers call timeout. Looking now for some consistency. Just too many missed shots. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. Ibaka, he's checked in for the Clippers. Pass to man. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Shooting two. That one's off. He hits the second from the line. Boston has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Pass to Williams. Here's Canner. Here's Langford, defended by Kennard. From six feet away. And it's Langford missing. The Clippers have gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. 
Now here's Kennard. Defense right on him. Soft touch off the glass. Can't let Kennard get this close. Once you do, he's going up with it. Here's Langford. Pass to Dunn. The shot. And it's Langford missing. For Los Angeles, they've gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Luke Kennard, he's more than just a spot-up shooter now. He's able to create for himself and for others with the ball in his hands. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. down the first one. When you look at Luke Kennard's free throw percentage, if you're the defense, you might want to keep him away from the line. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. They're enjoying a sizable lead. And what I like, B.A., they haven't stopped pressing the issue. Outside, Williams. Pass to Richardson. Down to five on the shot clock. And the layup is good off the glass. He's comfortable attacking in the painted area. Josh Richardson is using his size to make it look easy. Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. That's his fourth foul of the contest. That's his fourth foul of the evening. He needs to be careful now. Pick and choose where to be aggressive. Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. Smart comes in for Dunn. Jackson, he's checked in for the Clippers. Smart against Jackson. Shot from the wing. Hits the front of the rim and out. Los Angeles has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Pass to Ibaka. Now George. Guarded by Richardson. Now here's Leonard. Shot clock at five. Here's George. Kicks it out to Jackson. Shoots over Brown. And there's Jackson on the assist by George. You love the balance from Reggie Jackson. Generating more power in the catch and shoot. Pass to Brown. Knocks it loose. And that'll be Boston's ball as it goes out of bounds. Celtics able to keep possession here. Smart outside. It's Brown on the wing. Five to shoot. Here's Tatum. And down it goes. Two points. Tatum's got 23 points. Here's Jackson. Pass to George. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's on Al Horford. Defense throws everything at George, but he persists and finds a shot. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from George.
George hits them both. For Boston, they've gone just 6 of 14 in this final quarter. Smart passes to Brown. On the take. And the jam by Brown. Look at the power on that. He has to be one of the top dunkers in the game today. Jackson finds Leonard. Back to Jackson. Over Smart. Jackson gets the bucket. Jackson's gotten four this quarter. After a lackluster first half, he's taken charge offensively. We'll see how the defense responds. Here's Horford. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. He means business. Unlikely to be a comeback on his watch. Reason why momentum can flip so quickly. We see it time and time again. Teams giving up big leads. Horford with a steal. Now here's Smart. It's Brown on the wing. Pass to Tatum. Back to Smart. Now Tatum. Clock at six. Outside Richardson. Off target from three-point range. George against Richardson. George drives in. Now here's Winslow. Jackson outside. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. It's so easy to get frustrated when you make mistakes. But you have to keep battling. It's just one trip down the court. But you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. Smart passes to Horford. Brown with it. And that's a miss. 8 for 14 on the night. Los Angeles has gone 2 of 6 so far in the 4th. To the paint. Leonard outside. He takes it in. And he converts the layup. Leonard's got 19. One of the more physical wings in the league. Kawhi gets smacked there, but not to be denied. Smart outside. Tatum inside. Leonard defending. They get it again. The Clippers have gone 7 for 15 in the fourth. Jackson outside. Pass to George. There's a minute 47 left to play in the fourth. So comfortable in pick and roll. Paul George is a top-level ball handler who consistently makes the right play. They put together a solid lead. And it doesn't seem like they're going to back off. Smart finds Brown. Driving in. And Brown with the stuff. Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. Leonard passes to Ibaka. Now here's Jackson. Defended by Smart. The three, George Buckets. He's now 6 of 10 from the field. So far, George's competitive play has worked well. He's getting just about everything to fall. Well, with a comeback out of range, we can put a bow on this one. Good performance for the Celtics. Seemed like the sheer volume of three-pointers today was the deciding factor. <laughs> and they'd hit one and then just dial it up again. And it worked. When you look at Richardson's skill set, you look at his size, you think, man, this guy could be a great 3 and D player. Two shots. Relax on the And the first one at the line is good. So 
he gets them both. 55 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's George with the drive over Richardson. George's shot is off. And here's Smart. Outside Tatum. The three is up. Hits the trifecta. And the Celtics lead by 17. Ugh, leaving nothing to chance. This run shutting the door on them. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. Leonard, good. Well, you know, the truth is, Leonard's been focused all night. Has an array of go-to moves and the endurance to keep on coming. Leonard against Tatum. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off. We'll see you later.